welcome your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, we're going to go into second gear here, and we're going to look at uh, some of the things when I look at the markets each day to try to find uh, low-risk entry techniques. Now, this is one from the June Hogs from yesterday. As you can see, we made a slightly higher high today to make the target. You see it was for 104.67. The high was 104.80. It's now uh, $500 into the good, so you'd be at a – in you know trade free right now so let's figure out how i do some of these things and maybe it'll help us uh, determine what's happening now the floor traders handbook is something that i've uh, john jameson and i worked on several years ago it's this culmination of everything that i do i'm just going to scroll down to show you some of the things that are in here as we go through it's this is a 90 page uh PDF file that tells you the story of the ABCD. What we're going to focus on here, you've already talked about rich management, ABCD, Fibonacci harmonic numbers. Uh, we're going to we're going to focus on this pages 45 uh, through the statistics because those are the ones that most people don't realize the work behind it and why it's so important. And I think that'll be good. We're going to talk about standard deviations. You already know three drive, uh, volume spikes. Uh, you don't need to know my story. I've done done this uh, for many, many years. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down into the, the bulk of this, which is going to be down around page uh, 50, I believe, is where we want to uh, – get down a little bit farther here see all this stuff you, you've seen this stuff before well if you've had the tra uh, floor traders handbook you've seen it but basically what we did is we studied the euro and found out you know where these patterns were and how many times these things occurred these are just different studies that were involved uh, in this thing and how you risk only 30 pips but the good part about this is the time factors that are in here and how you use the range of the days how you use harmonic numbers we all know ABCD we're going to go through that very quickly because everybody in the world has seen that but there's a lot of other things that are in here besides you know the Fibonacci number everybody sees the Fibonacci number oh my gosh that's an ABC wow ground groundbreaking right well there's a lot of things to get you to that point and that's why you want to look at other things you know the patterns are important but the other statistics are important you can see here you know how you set up a trade this is what we're looking at in hogs where we're trying to be a buyer or seller at those numbers that's what we're trying to do and uh, we're going to go on and we're going to show you how the statistics work uh, in your favor and that's the main thing that you want to be uh, looking at okay now we're going to get into Fibonacci you already know these numbers I'm not going to spend any time at all on this because everybody's seen them uh, everybody thinks they know how to use them some people do some people don't we basically use these four that we we just uh, posted up here for a second you'll be able to see them here these are the ones that we use all the time, which are uh, 127, 786, 618, and 382. Those are the ones that we use to describe what our market does as far as giving us the time, you know, to able to get in there and buy and sell. You all seen the buy or sell. But we're going to go to the other things that are important because how these markets move and give you an idea. Sometimes, you know, your areas where you have everything lined up in your favor, and that's what you really like to see. These are just the normal patterns. You've seen all this. What I want to get to as we get to this part here, the support tools. First of all, it's the harmonic number. Harmonic numbers were found by Jim Twentyman. Um, uh, we had a MIPS computer, multiple integers per second. In other words, you look at every time frame that you put it out, and it'll print out millions and millions of pieces of data. But you have to tell it what to do. And so we were looking for certain things, and these are the things that we worked on: was the harmonic number, the opening price, and market statistics, and then John Davison, well, John, John. <laughs> deviation standard deviation uh, John Jameson was the one that uh, brought in the standard deviation is really really important because options are important folks when we had the the, the uh, financial um, 
you know, uh, meltdown back in 2009, option trading became incredibly uh, popular. Now it's 10 times bigger than it was in 2009. We have quarterly options. We have weekly options. We have daily options. And now we've got interday options. So, you know, these options are huge, and you've got to understand how these options are derived, and that's what the real key of looking at this. The harmonic numbers are numbers that repeat over and over again. You'll notice, see, 26, 22, 24, uh, 37. All these, like if you take 24, multiply it times 1.618, you get 37. One half of 37 is 17. So what you want to do is you want to line these up so when the patterns line up at the same time, it gives you a place to be a buyer or seller. That's the whole key to this. Now, you can see the same thing. You can see these same types of points. Now, you can see 85, 85, 104, 82, add 127 to that. It's 104. I don't even draw in these ABCDs because you've seen these so many times. I'm just showing you that the repetition that is there, and it's there in all these little ones, too. If you, if you trade on a shorter term, it's there. Everything is related to numbers. Just like in anything where they're putting money in, whether it's horse racing, gambling, whatever it happens to be, uh, it's all related on numbers and what the percentage are of those numbers, okay? So that's the key to you know lose, doing some of the things that we're doing right now. So we're going to look at part three which is the opening price. Now the opening price means that the price of the day should open right near the high or low of the day about 70% of the time. So you have the opening price that you're looking at, you're looking at the harmonic number, the market statistics, you know, which is part of the ABCD, and then the standard deviation. Now the standard deviation, we're gonna be covering that in just a short period of time here because it's really important for the indices and other things that you wanna calculate because it's all based on options and how the options work. Now, these are just showing you some of the harmonic numbers. Most of you folks have this. By the way, if you do want the Floor Traders Handbook, it's uh, uh, ordinarily it's 297. We offer it to, for the next couple of weeks uh, for two uh, for 197. It is a 90-minute video, professionally done, and it is a 90-page PDF file. And this is what you're looking at right now is the PDF file showing you how to put everything together because it's got it's got a lot of things that. Uh, that you really need to uh, pay attention to as we get to some of these others. So hold on one second as we get down to, uh, uh, here's, we're going to get into this. There we go. These are the statistics of the market. Okay, here's what we want to be watching. The time of the day, folks, this is worth the price of admission. When you run all these studies, you realize that there are certain times of the day to expect a low of the high. This happens to be expecting the lower of the high of the day in the S&P. Look at these. I mean, when you, have a, when you have something that is this important, this has to be important, whether it's the high or low of the day. Look at the high of the day today, folks, right at the opening. You know, so those are the things that you that are there. We did thousands of these, folks. This one happens to be the one uh, for the euro, I believe. But they're all they're all the, excuse me that both of, all of these are the euro because this whole thing is based on the euro. We do it for the S and P 500 also, but the Floor Traders Handbook was about the euro. Now the harmonic number just basically shows you from high to low what the swing points are. When you add that to ABCD, you got something to work. We're going to come back to standard deviation, and then we'll get into some trading, which everybody wants to see. So stay with us. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Educating investors.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're looking at the E-mini uh, futures, and basically this is uh, Monday through Friday. There's a 24-hour session. Uh, of course, there's Globex, and there's the day session, which is normal stock exchange hours. There's a slight difference between these because of the time difference. There's more time during this than the other, but the standard deviation doesn't change. Now, the standard deviation, let me just show you what that means. If you're looking at a bell-shaped curve, which is what we're going to look at right here, if you're going to look at, there's 84%. Okay, when you get out to here, these are outlier events. This only happens like 90% of the time. So almost all the time, it's going to be within one standard deviation on either side of this. That's why when it starts moving beyond that, that means your trend is starting to accelerate once it gets past these levels right here this is where the option buyers or option sellers have to cover their positions and that means that they have to come in and uh, you know cover their positions and that makes really difficult to do the standard deviation is really easy to do now here's here was a, a, a sample Th these, these don't change these are pretty much the same this was the expected range into the, the quartile. In other words, in other words, if it gets down to this level, it should be one standard deviation. And you'll see as we move on, this is exactly what happened. We'll look at these and you'll see. There it is right there was your actual range. Now that's going to change because the next day you've got to recalculate it because it'll change based on the range of the previous day. And that's where these ranges, it's all numbers, folks. It really is. And we'll talk about numbers in just a second. Here's another one. This, there's that previous chart. So the next day, your expected range would be this. And so as you look, you'll pull down and you'll see exactly what happened. Now, these are we've done these many years ago. That's part of the book. But anyway, that's what you're looking at. And there's so much more in it that is uh, it's really quite good. So if you have an interest in that, like I said, it's a 90 page PDF file. And then it's also a 90 minute video that will really explain just about everything we do as far as the uh, things related to the other thing. We'll see. We have one other. This is the standard deviation, which is really important. And th this is really it, it's really the fourth dimension. And it's based on these ETFs that are out there because most of the volume in the stock market comes from ETFs now. They, you know, these simple stock stuff, this doesn't work as well as you'd like to see. One of these days we'll have John Jameson on and explain this uh, uh, 
standard deviation the best way. But it's easy to understand once you understand how to do it. But it gives you a really good spot to knowing where these numbers are. Look at this just from just from a couple of days here. There's one standard deviation. There's the mean. There's the standard deviation. It's two standard deviations. And then when you add it with the ABCDs. Then you've got game, boys and girls. Okay, now let's move on to something that we'd like to do. Uh, get over. By the way, my email is Larry at tradingtutor.com. If you have an interest, hold on here. Let's get over here, and we'll bring this up here to see where we are. These are the hogs. Now they've come down a little bit from where we were. Just get this up here. See, here was the high up here this morning. Right there was your number. There was a number from yesterday. There was a number today. This was just a tiny bit higher. Again, it's already moved a point, a little more than $500 in your favor. So that one is uh, working okay. But the one we want to talk about right now, because it's in the ballpark of what's going on. There's two of them, actually. This is one that we sent out. Hold on one second. I'll get this up here. We'll do the crude oil first, uh, because we have Mike Moore coming on as our guest here. And here's where we are with the crude oil. Let's get this over here. And we'll get this moving right here because we had a big, big move here in crude oil this morning. Oops, get this out of the way here. Uh, there, move it over just a little bit because we hit uh, what we call the proverbial jackpot, I guess, uh, so far. I mean, it hasn't done really much, but it's at least it started working. There was the ABCD from yesterday and what we do today. And if you did the standard deviation, it would have come in right there, folks. But look at the ABCD that was here this morning when we sent the video out. We were sitting right there. And uh, oh, it didn't draw it right. Doggone it. Hold on just a second. Let me get that out of the way here. Get the closer one that I wanted to see. Because we had the other ones that were, you can see the ones where we went to A, B, C, D all the way up. Okay, well, we had one final one. And I believe this was it right here. From that level here it took us up to our level right here at 54.83. And then we had the final one, which was the one that we were watching for the trade because this was an hourly chart, folks. And that came in here at uh, 85.42. The high was 85.46. And right now we're trading at 84.43. Now, this is, hasn't come down very much. You see, but it's gone from 85.43. It dropped $1,200. Of course, it's bouncing around back and forth. But that was a very easy trade to do because you didn't have to risk very much. And when you made, uh, if you're risking 60 points and you make 1,200, you certainly want to take something off at least at 1,000. And if you take it this and you move it to a smaller time frame, you'll see that's exactly what happened. There was your high. Okay, then the market came in. And what did it do? I mean, if you believe in ABCD, this will make you a believer. There was your high. If you waited for your 382 retracement, which was right here at 85.13, okay, and then what did the market do? If you like ABCD, folks, Oopsie daisy, what did I do wrong here? Hold on just a second. I know what I did wrong. I hit the wrong button. Oh, Larry, Larry. <laughs> Don't ever let an Italian do a uh, hold. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to get back into Ensign, I think. I have totally messed up, folks. Doggone it. Uh, just give me a second here. Ah, uh, shucks. Uh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry about this, boys and girls. Let me get this up here so we can see where we are here again. I should have turned off the uh, thing before. Okay, here's where we were. I was getting to this right here. Okay, there was your 382 right here. So you have your ABCDs to the downside. There's your first one uh, right here. Okay, then you have a second one coming in right here. And then you have a big rally up to this level right here, which is probably right at your 786. Okay, exactly to the 786. And then you come down. So we're going to find out now whether we're going to make another A, B, C, D pattern right in here. Now, remember, when you're trading crude oil, folks, this is $1,000 a barrel so that each time it you know moves from 84.80 to uh to 84.90, that's $100, and from 84.80 to 85.90, that's $1,000, equivalent to 20 S&P points, okay? So that's that's what we're watching. So pay close attention to that. Also, just for kicks and giggles, we're going to get up here. This is the gold market, and we're going to just see if any of this stuff that we're talking about works. Here's a 13-minute chart, which gives us pretty much the rest of the day. 
there's where we are. We had the big move up here. Remember, this is the weekly number, folks. Right up here is the weekly number. And what are we doing now? If you believe in Mr. Gartley's work, he said, look for the first A, B, C, D move in a bear market. So if we're assuming this is a bear market, we want to look for the A, B, C, D swing. And that would be right here. There's your A, B leg. There's your CD leg coming in there at 22.84. That's two bucks from where we are right now. If we don't get above that, that's a pretty good indication that we're probably getting ready to have some type of a correction in gold. How much of a correction? No one knows that, but what we're worried about is how much we have to risk to see where we are during that time. Now, we're going to have to take a break here because we're going to have Mike Moore coming up uh, today. And tomorrow we will have, I uh, believe, is Bill Meridian. And his birthday is the 25th of this month. We don't want to forget that. Stan Harley on Thursday, Norm Winsky on Friday. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics in the house today. Mike, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Larry? Thank you for having me on today. Hope hey. everybody had a great long weekend. Yep, everybody seemed to be. They all showed up uh, yesterday, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's start out with crude oil. Would that be okay? Yeah, sure. Can you see my screen? I think we're ready to go. Okay. So crude, just as a backup here, on an overall basis, we've been bullish since April 29th, 2020, and now we're in April 2024. So we've been bullish for $115.13 from 1537. And then on a medium, we had a lot of other bullish uh, projections in here on a medium term basis. We held exhaustion at 68.28, and we found $17.18. And then on a short term basis, Trade above 78.56, recorded 690 of strength, and we've had a couple of other formations in here. Importantly, though, I wrote here the solid trade above 83.04. And for those of you that are kind of new to watching, I use the term solid probably only once a year. So that means it's a very significant formation. So I said the solid trade above 83.04 now warns a solid higher trade for $2.70 minimum, but the maximum could be $48 plus. We've only uh, attained 242 of that so far. If we're to fail back down through that solidly, and that's going to come in at 83.01 today, then that would warrant a solid pressure for days slash week. Okay. Um, give me a second here. You want to take a look at the R Bob or the heat, or you want yes, to let's go. Let's go do them in the sequence that you like. I like R Bob and then the heating oil because they look certainly different than the crude oil charts. That's for sure. Okay, so the R Bob, <coughs> excuse me, or the unleaded gasoline, just got bullish again today. We broke it above this formation right here, popped above it, pulled right back down, couldn't hit the stop, and are bouncing here. So I'm bullish this unless we take this uh, stop out. That line's going to come in at. 272.16 as of 1 o'clock, and that is going to move down <clears throat> 1.5 ticks per hour and a decent penetration below there. Today would be, give me a second, uh, 180 ticks. And if we break below this lower line here, that's going to further project this downward. Um... Well, this, breaking above this, this projects us up at $4.30 minimum, $7.70 plus maximum. <clears throat> and decent trade below 269.57 plus 5 per hour will project this downward 5.4 cents. And that line is going to come in at 269.83 as of 1 o'clock. And the, I'm not going over, I'm not going to go over you know, all the bullishness that's in here from these lower calls. It's basically fairly similar for that of crude. The heating oil here, uh, gap and open higher today. That's bullish. We broken. I would warned the other day that the heat was actually leading the downside. And I said I warned we were likely in the last stretch of the move down from 276.66 and the break below 258.09 and back above may signal an an early termination of that move down. That was the break below this low right here, 258.09. We broke below there, broke back above it. And now we're seeing a bullish correction or trend against the move down from this high right here. We also broke above this bullish formation right here. And that was the trade above 261.53, which had brought in 7.74 cents of strength and then a little bit more right here. A break above this line right here. Uh, is also going to warn of continued strength. That's going to come in at 268.80 plus four per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. And a decent penetration above there is going to be 156 ticks prior to 2.30. Now, if we take out this formation above, this is a major formation. Actually, never mind that. Just... Let's just focus on this one. All right. So you want to look at the Brent and the um, 
Gas oil, yes. or you want to go yep. straight to natural Brent, gas? Yep. Brent, uh, gas uh, the uh, Brent, of course, too, and then gasoline, too. Okay, Brent, we've been bullish in here for a while as well. We just broke above this formation right here, tried to come down, hit the stop, couldn't get it. So I'm still bullish. Uh, so, so the trade above 87.66 is brought in a dollar 42 of the decent strength warned about. Greed fail back below that decently. That's going to warrant decent pressure. And if we fail back below this formation here, excuse me, I do not have the Brent up. My apologies. This is the Brent. You've been bullish for multiple breaks, a break above this formation, a break above this formation. This formation right here was a major formation. So that projected this upward similar to WTI, about $2.70 minimum, um, or $2.50 minimum, $48 plus maximum. We've also broken above this ascending line right here. If we fail back down through that, that's going to warrant a decent pressure. That comes in at 87.70 plus 0.5 of a tick per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. That would be key, too, because if you get short below there, it starts coming off and then takes out this line solidly, then that's also going to warrant a solid pressure for days slash weeks, and then the market could really uh, capitulate to the downside. And the gas oil uh, is also looks like it's leaving a gap open higher here today. We would have to do a lot of work on the downside to close that, which is also going to leave a moderate bullish reversal below, which warrants a higher trade for days slash weeks. Um, on the 60-minute charts, we break above this line. We, we already broke above the decent strength, but that also warrants a decent strength. And this formation up above here is the major formation. That's going to come in at 846.38 roughly, and a solid penetration above there would warrant a continued higher trade for days slash weeks as well. If this was to really roll over and uh, take out that gap, or, or if we decently on the downside, the, the bottom of that comes in at 815.75, that would negate that bullish reversal. And the natural gas returned bullish yesterday. What's having a good move today? Yes. And I'm bullish, but I do think that this could be truncated here and see a minor bearish correction before slash if resuming higher trade. Uh, obviously, Mike, we got, remember, we, got to pay a, we got to pay a few bills now. So can we stay with us and we'll be right back? Yeah. We'll be right back, folks. Mike Moore of More Analytics. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Mike, please continue. Sure. Can you, see, can you still see my screen? Yes, you're in great shape. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, so the natural gas here, we... as Many of you, if you've been watching the show for a while, have been bearish for a long time. From 8.2080, we'd seen $6.68.6 .6 of that on the downside. A lot of other bearish formations in here, those are all on hold now. Um, we trade above uh, 175.30. It's brought in 146 of strength. We trade above 179.30, also one of strength. That was the break above this formation and then the break above this formation. We also just broke above a new formation here that, that I didn't have on the analysis this morning. That comes in at 185 right now. That projects us up with 76 minimum, 186 plus maximum. The only caution I would have on that is just on this very lower time frame move up. I do believe that this is in the last stretch of this. So we are currently holding possible exhaustion right here at 187.80 to 180.40 with a 188.10 high. If you take that out, then we're poised to head up towards this exhaustion level at 190.60 to 191.90. You take that out, possibly up here to 197.40 to 198.50. If we fail back down through this line decently on the downside, that's going to warn of renewed pressure. That's going to come in at 185 as of 1 o'clock p.m. and move down just very slightly. So. And decent penetration there is 32 ticks prior to 2.30 today. All right, any questions on that, or you, would you like to no, go that's, to the that, S&P? Let's go to the – let's do the S&P, and then we also need to cover the gold, and uh, yep. that would be a good one. Okay. S&P 500 returned bearish yesterday. Um, just on an overall basis in here, we've been bullish for quite a while. Those of you who've been watching the show know that I've been bullish since 3502. We've seen 1,831.5 points to the upside. Plenty of other bullish trades that we've called on the show. If you want to go back and look at past recordings, those are all on hold. Uh, we came just shy of a of an exhaustion level up here the other day at um, 5336.50 to 5340.50. And we just about held that with a 53.33.50 high and rolled over and then also broke below two bearish formations here and here, which project this lower. Those come in here. I so said the trade uh, the trade below 53.01 and a quarter is brought in 46.75 of pressure and then more of that also in here. And then the trade below 53 even also projects this downward 50 plus and we've got traded down to 52.35 so obviously gotten that 50 and then 
bear with me. Now we come down to two formations right below us here. Those are going to come in at, this one comes in at 52, 59, 53, minus 7 per hour. Decent break below there, a warrant of decent pressure, but the one, one below that projects us downward. That one comes in at 52, 21, 12, plus 18 per hour, starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, give me one second here. Also, we're probably likely going to leave a, a significant gap open lower on the day. And just remember that this um, exhaustion level is a um, exhaustion level of a pretty extensive move. So at some point here, the downside will get underway more intensely. Probably you see a deeper bearish correction. We'll have to see. But right now, currently, we're bearish as well. Any questions on that? Or you want me to jump to the no, gold? Let's go to gold because everybody's excited okay. about that today. Almost All hitting right. 2300. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. So the gold here, been bullish for the past number of days. Um, we were bearish down into here and then got bullish here, got bullish above this formation, and then bullish again this morning above this formation. Sorry, that's the S&P. Okay, so in general, we've been, as if you've been watching the show, we've been bullish since uh, 8.16.18 from uh, 11.83.70. We've seen 11.03.80 from there, and then even more than that today. I'm not going to go over all these other bullish formations. Uh, more recently, I said that the solid trade above 21.47.50 to 840 projects this upward 151 minimum, 954 plus maximum. We detained 131 139.1 of that going into this morning, and then from 86 to 96, and then another $11 um, today. So that basically fulfilled the 151 minimum. But like I said, the maximum could be 954 plus. Um, we have, uh, Mike, we have a request to do uh, natural gas again, if you could, please. Sure. So just let me just show you natural gas on an overall basis here. You know, we've been in a long, long slide in natural gas all the way down into here. And now we're just popping off, off, off these lows. <clears throat> and then most recently, I didn't quite show this, but the key is here, we've taken out this major low here and these lows, took all those lows out and they came back up through all those and they're now trading up in here. So we broke it up a couple, above a couple different formations. We broke above this formation right here that got us bullish. We broke back above this formation, which got us bullish. And now we've just broken above this formation that projects us upward 76 minimum. 186 plus maximum. The only danger in this is this is this is also warns that this may be in the last stretch of this move upward. So it could hold this exhaustion level, this exhaustion level, or possibly these higher ones. Hard to say. It does hold this and sails back down through this line. That's going to warn a decent pressure. That'll probably push this down right back down into these levels right in here, which is uh, 178.60 to 177.80. Any, any more in-depth questions on that? Or? No, that's good. That's uh, that's fine. If you want to go on to the next one, that'd be great. Okay. So then the uh, we just went just did the gold. Did you have any questions on the gold? No. So do you do silver? One, so? one last thing you got to know about the gold because sometimes I'm not on here for a week. Is this formation line down here is the major formation I made those predictions off of? Okay. And that okay. that line you can write this down. It's going to come in around twenty one forty nine seventy. And, you know, it moves very slightly, so it's going to be at, like, 2150 even at the end of the week. If it breaks below there solidly, and so when I say solidly, that's not some kind of fluffy up-in-the-air term. That's a specific number that I send out to my clients daily. Um, but if it breaks below there solidly, that would be more of a major sell-off. 
Okay. Mike, thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on again soon, okay? Thank you, sir. You bet. Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we had a request to talk about soy, uh, soybeans. Hello, operator. Uh, treasury bonds. This is a 30-year treasury bond. Uh, we pointed this out a long time ago. We had the 1, 3, 5 pattern. There's 1, 3, and 5. You notice that the BC leg here is exactly equal almost to the within a five or six pips of the exact CD move right over here. So that gives you a ABCD move now. If we move this over back to where it should be, we want to continue what we're looking at. So that tells us that we have another ABCD forming right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the four hour chart so we can see it really clearly. And there it is right there. There's that, you can see the 135. There it is on the hourly, same one we saw on the daily. And now what we're doing is we're looking at this pattern forming right now so we're going to clean that up a little bit so that we can just take a look at it there's your point five okay there's your a b c d leg right there a b c d and we are very close to game folks pay a coat pay attention to this 116 17 look over here on the left that's a 50 percent move folks of the whole daddy rabbit look at that look at that there's your 50 percent retracement coming in right there 
you got one, two, three down, one, two, three down. We're going to 116.13. We're a full point away, but watch it closely. This is going to be really, really important because if this one doesn't hold, and if this one doesn't hold, then we know that there's trouble in River City. Remember a long time ago in the world of trading, we were looking at this same 135 pattern way back here. Remember back here a couple of years ago when they were feeding us the, the tapioca about negative interest rates? Well, we didn't go for that. There was your 135 pattern. 135, just like this is a weekly, the other one was a daily, and boom, 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 down we came. Where'd we rally to? There's your ABCD measured right to the number within a point or two there at 107 and change. And then we rallied up and look what we're doing now. We're making a correction. So this is going to be a big time thing. So pay close attention. 116.21, tell your friends and neighbors where you heard it. <laughs> May God bless folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and please make God bless.